We've thought about all these scenarios. Yeah. The, the quickest and the cheapest way is to just to uh, give her a bag. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Exactly the same speed. Oh, yep. Okay. Yep. Yep. So one one will pull and one will push. Okay. Yep. So right now we're uh, we're on we're going down. So we're on the we're on the on the pull, and the other one's going up. So it's going to push. It's going to you know, originally when when it takes off, it uses all the engine power and stuff yeah, to push us off. Like yeah. Yeah. And so we're on the descent now. We're meaning that we're going to be pulling them up like yeah. the counterweights are. Uh, are Closing down, but yeah, we're at the he exact same speed of seven meters a second bike. as the exact same car going up. Do we get to see animals from this uh, spot? Yeah, you, like you do. It's it seeing animals is kind of like seeing the weather. Like <laughs> it, they can change, they can come out. They're very unpredictable right now. Uh, the chances of seeing like bear or anything like that that we normally see, mind you, I've been here seven months and I've only seen two bear from here um, over like seven period of seven months so that'll go to show you how lucky and rare they are it has to be to see them but the high bears will be in hibernation now i'm guessing or starting to go around the only sort of thing you're more likely to commonly see would probably be mountain goat uh, mountain goat generally at this time though are, are more to the peak of the mountain and further over near indian ridge okay where's the indian ridge so indian ridge is when you go all the way up to the you, when you go all the way up to the summit, mm. and then you walk down, and then you can cross over right over the back. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think it's all that trail, but we didn't do we went yeah. to the summit, but we didn't do the other part. Really right. So up. yeah, yeah. Just by the ski hill. That's ski correct. Hill. Yeah. 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 I'm going towards Banff. Will there be any chance in the way any spot where I can find beers? Like, you mean bears? Beer, bears. I was going to say beers, yeah, you can find them in some local, some of the local uh, liquor store on the way home. No, uh, for bears? Um, yeah, um, yeah, you know what? I've driven a bear a few times, and I've seen I've seen, I've seen, seen bears quite a bit. Um, but just little black bears, though, not, not, not so much grizzly bears. I, mind you, I haven't even seen, I've only seen three grizzly bears here. So, um, and black bears are safe to watch from close, or they attack? You should stay your distance. You should, for, for, all, for all wildlife yeah. here in Canada, you should always keep your distance. You should never get out and get too close, especially to the friendly looking ones, because they're the vicious ones. Yeah. Oh. So like even elk and stuff, you should really stay keep your, your distance. Yeah. If you're in your car and you're on the other side of the road, oh. obviously you're fine, stay in your car. Do not, never get out of the car yeah. and, and cross over and it. And how about feeding some fruits? No, 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 don't feed no, any no, animals. No, 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 no. Never feed the animals, no way. No, and you know why that you know why that is. It's, I mean, this was one of the big things that I learned when I came to Canada as well. Because in Australia, you can feed the different birds, different yeah. things, and you do everything your own. Right? But over here, um, they actually it's actually crippling them because yeah. they go to store food for the winter time, like bears especially. Uh, Plus, you do not want to try and hand feed a bear. Like that's no way. So what you want to do is you want to just sort of stay in your car, take photos from your car from a safe distance. And then sort of move on. You don't want to sort of linger around where I saw fifteen deers or something in the garden yesterday night at three. Oh, the elk, elk probably. Elk, sorry, elk. Yeah, because the elk are they like to stay around the people because. Yeah. Uh, it, yeah. The female doesn't have antlers, and she wants. To Again, stay away from elk as yeah. well. Elk, yeah. are, elk, do not get out of your car and try and feed them or or anything like that. Stay because the hell away from them. Just get in a like even even taking photos from a distance is is still a risky thing because those they can really move like the elk when they want to and, and from what we were told 
Um, they will damage the car if I'm yeah, the, Oh man, oh, the, yeah, the, they're more vicious than any animal uh, here from what we're told. Uh, the male elks can get pretty defensive too. Oh yeah. If he thinks a male elk, elk will, a male elk, especially one of the big ones that we're all running around down the down the bottom here with its big ve- yeah. velvet horns, that'll go straight through your car. Huh. Yeah. They'll yeah. probably take a door off or something. Don't, yeah, if you see one coming, we'll just slowly reverse up or get the hell out of there. The only reason they're staying around the people is because the predators are afraid to come around the people, so they stay around us for their protection. Oh, because the wolves and no, the coyotes the and stuff. That's what the ranger was yeah. telling us yesterday. We, we had a long conversation with the park ranger, and she said that that's why they keep coming into town because the wolves and the coyotes will stay out of town. Okay. So they come here because it's safe for them. But then the males can also get pretty aggressive if you get close to them. Or yeah, the, and the females too. Well, there's a lot of there's a lot of a lot of uh, female elk in town. And there's also a lot of, as a result, there's also a lot of buck, buck elk, like elk, um, bull elk around, right? So and th- these are the males, and th- this is the this is the thing, right? Because they can get very protective of their of the female elk as well as the as the younglings that are around them. And yeah, you just you just want to sort of stay the hell away from them, like yeah. And the other reason to add on to what the I forgot what was your name? Zach. Zach was saying when you feed them any of the animals, what happens is that they become more comfortable with humans, yeah. which is actually dangerous for them because you want they you want them to stay away from humans. So because you, you think about it, right? If they if they if they're out there looking for food, some of these animals they like if they're trying to protect themselves or protect their family, some of them aren't getting food, right? They can't go out there and you know, it's dangerous. And then they see a human and we, we just feed we give them food. They're gonna, they're gonna eventually start coming into the town and yeah. Yeah. taking food, and then they're gonna get shooed away, yeah. and yeah. they're gonna rely on us for food. And if they can't rely on that, then you know what I mean. Like they'll it's, die. they'll yeah. die. Yeah. And if they start getting too close to town, they're gonna start like they're gonna have to put them down, like yeah, because they don't want them to be in town. So the best thing is to always. I read that yeah. in the black one park we went to, and they they were saying telling people not to feed them, and if you do, they'll have to put them down yeah. or relocate like them. The bear, yeah. that on the park, an, yeah. There was an issue about two, three weeks ago with a bear in BC. It came too close to a woman, and so now they have to put them. Put the, really? well, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you later. But the, so like if you feed them and they get too close, they don't. They're not afraid of humans, so the, the park rangers will put them down. Yeah. So you end up end, end up harming the animal. I, I've seen the lion like 50 meters away from me. In like a long, a lion? A yeah. lion in India. Oh, you do what? Hardly 50 meters away and we were Yeah, but same thing, like you didn't, you didn't try to feed the lion, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 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 That's a clever answer. Huh? Stay the hell away from it, man. Yeah. I didn't try to feed it. It's different, it's different when they're in captivity. Like if they're in a zoo, that's a different story. Thank you. 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 Thank you.